Hello, East Brunswick. Mr. Tippin here. Today, we are going to be talking about three-dimensional shapes. Seriously, though, these shapes are all over our world. They're in the way we work. They're in our learning. And they're in our play. And today, we're going to be learning about how to describe those shapes in our world. So to do that, let's start off by talking about a shape we're all pretty familiar with. And this shape is called a cube. Now, what do you notice when you look at a cube? I see that there are six flat surfaces, or faces. All the faces are the same size and each face is a square. Let's look at these three shapes, a cone, a sphere, and a cylinder. What do you notice when you look at these shapes? One thing I notice is that they all have curved surfaces. Here we have a cube, rectangular prism, and pyramid. What do you notice about these shapes? I notice that all these shapes have edges where two faces meet, like in this clip here. And speaking of edges, here are a cone and a cylinder, and their edges are a little bit different. An edge of a cone or a cylinder is where a flat face meets a curved surface. So a cone has one edge, and a cylinder has two. Another word we want to think about is how we describe the corners, or the vertices. A vertex on a three-dimensional shape is where at least three faces meet together to make what we normally would call a corner, but mathematically we will call them a vertex or vertices. The final word we want to think about when we're describing our shapes is how we describe points or an apex. And the apex on a shape like a cone is the vertex that is opposite the circular face. So here, the circular face is at the bottom, and the point at the top, that vertex we call an apex. Now, let's start comparing some of our three-dimensional shapes. Here, we have a cube and a rectangular prism. What do you notice when you look at these shapes? Take a moment to pause the video, find somebody to talk to, or write down some of your ideas. I noticed they have the same number of faces, vertices, and edges. Each face on both shapes has four sides and four angles. All of the faces on the cube are squares. 
The faces on the rectangular prism can be squares or rectangular. And rectangular prisms that have all square faces are called cubes. They're a special kind of rectangular prism. Let's compare one more set of shapes. Here we have a cube and a cylinder. What do you notice when you look at a cube and a cylinder? What do they have in common? What's different about them? Take a moment, pause the video, and tell someone your ideas or write them down. And then you can check back in with me and see if you had the same thoughts. Here are some of the things I noticed. The cylinder, well, it can roll when it's pushed, but the cube can't. The cylinder has a curved surface, but the cube does not. The cylinder has two flat surfaces, but the cube has six. And the faces of the cube are squares, but the faces of the cylinder are circles. Now it's your turn. Take a look at the next couple pictures and see if you can find a way to compare them using their attributes. I hope that you have a wonderful week, and until next time, happy describing. Thank you.